aware Angelita Gunn. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Yeah, good to see you. And uh, Angelita was also on the uh, team that brought the Heritage uh, Jackson Hispanic Heritage Festival to the community for the first year. Yes. And you're already talking about next year. Yeah, I think we're. I think we could tell that there was a lot of momentum that was built with that first festival, and we outgrew the space pretty quickly. So we're looking forward to next year, bigger and bigger and better. Sometime in September, October. Not sure yet. Cool. But yes. Well, let's talk about what's happening this year. And yes. next week, is it next week already? Two no, weeks. two weeks, two weeks. <sighs> Men Who Cook. Yes, our annual, I think this is the 11th annual, is it 11th annual, 10th annual? Well, it doesn't say, but you know, if just my memory, it's at least 10. So yeah, at least, yeah. It started, I remember when it started, and it was, it was a little different than yep. it is today. So how is it? What's, what's it going to be like next, or in two weeks? Yeah, in two weeks. So, um... The format has been, since I've been here the last seven years, um, to have a local, what we call celebrity chefs. So it's people who are interested in cooking, like cooking, and um, they come and they prepare food. And then people who come to the event pay a ticket price. They get to eat any, anything and all of the food that they want. Mm -hmm. So um, we've had anywhere from 10 to 15 chefs. I think one year we even had 20, which we thought that was probably a lot more than we needed, <laughs> but 10 to 15 chefs, they prepare what they're, here we got Brian Dumont and Adam Soper, they're both scheduled to come back again this year. That's what's cool, and, you um, get people that yes. want to come back here. Yep, they come year after year, and they prepare whatever they want. We don't really dictate what they, um, what they cook. It and works out though, there's a variety. Works. It's a good variety. Um, we've had years where we've had, you know, three or four people do something on the level of a barbecue or a, a brisket. Shannon will be here next this year. He's new. He'll be a new chef this year. Is he on the Shannon board? Arnett. Um, no, he's not. Uh, he's um, a friend of aware. But yeah, so, so we're fun. excited. We're very, very excited. I will not be there. I have a previous commitment, <laughs> so I'm... We're going to miss you, Bart. It's the first one I've, I've missed. There's, uh, Chad Kennedy Chad and, will be back. Of course, Dave. Chad's a faithful, faithful... Chef, I think he's been to every event since it started. Do you and still need? Sure. Are you all filled up with? I them? think we're. Yeah. I think we're good with chefs. If we have any, we'll certainly be open. If anybody has a last minute that they'd like to come and be a part of the event, um, for chefs, we request that they get a sponsor. They donate the food, and then um, we provide all the whatever they need to be able to set up, and and then. Um, People, like I said, one ticket price, they get to come in, they get to taste everything, so. You won't go hungry. No, you won't. And it will be almost impossible to get through every <laughs> chef station. You, you actually won't be able to eat all, everything. <laughs> oh, and it's that's a competition, my goal. so you're voting as you yep. taste. Yep, so we have top prizes for um, best taste, and then we have um, bet, most creative kind of workstation. And then we have a prize for the most tips raised. Of course, all those funds go to support crisis services here in Jackson. So. Yeah, and the smart chefs are already collecting tips. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, getting some, some of their businesses, their local sponsors as so well. So the, the men cooking, they, get, uh, they compete for prizes, but everyone that goes <laughs> has a chance to win. There's a lot of cool things. Yep, we have an auction every year. Um, this year we'll be doing the same thing. We have a fun little um, scarecrow who's been named different things every year. It was Lucky Lee, Lucky Lou, Lucky. So <laughs> <laughs> the He's idea, got lottery tickets. He's got lottery right. tickets. Yeah, he or she has lottery tickets attached to their to their body, and then um, you can win lottery tickets. We have other um, silent auction items. This year we're kind of doing regional themes, so we've got some area from Detroit and from here in Jackson from Lansing that are donating um, gifts or prizes. Hotels or like local, for example, um, John Ball Zoo. Mm -hmm. So things like that. So we're really excited. The Commonwealth Commerce Center has been a big partner with you for this. Several years, yes. They've been wonderful. Very gracious host to the event as well as uh, David Gerding, who will be a chef and is a almost like a host chef he helps sponsor and support mm -hmm. the other chefs there and Dave and I think won 
last year. He did. Uh, yeah, finally, because it's, it's so tough. It's very hard. Yeah. Yes, it's very, very hard. But yeah. he's actually won twice. I think he has. I th now that you said that, I think he, went, he won two years for Best Taste. Yeah. So, um, so yes, um, we still have tickets. You can get them from our website, which is www.awareshelter.org. You can go on to our uh, Facebook page and scan the QR code, or you can get to the link from the Facebook page as well. Tickets are $35 a person to get in. There's also sponsorship levels. We have several local businesses that are um, sponsoring tables and um, sponsoring the event itself. It's really a fun night. I highly recommend it. And you get more than your money's worth in just the food. So, so one, one more thing I wanted to mention is that this year we're encouraging people to uh, dress up in their Halloween costumes. <laughs> <laughs> Since it's so close to Halloween this year, being October 27th, um, we're encouraging people to dress up family friendly. Um, definitely want to want to make sure it's uh, appropriate for family. Yeah, family, <laughs> family friendly. Yeah. Okay. Well, great. Have a great, successful night. I'll miss Thank you. Uh, being there, but uh, all yeah. of you that are going to be there, um, you'll have a great time. We'll miss you too. Thanks, Bart, and hopefully next year. Yes, I'll I'll put it on my calendar as soon as I know it. Okay. Sounds good. Thank you. Thank you. The uh, director of AWARE, Angelita Gunn. Stay tuned. We uh, 